Hello viewers, SuperGT here. So very recently, I was lucky enough to go to the Dunswold Aerodrome, otherwise known as the Top Gear Test Track, and climb behind the wheel of a McLaren 570S GT4 car. This was the first time I've ever driven a GT car at all, and it was an absolutely amazing experience. You can see the full video, the first video that I've made with the full experience, which is linked in the description. But I've got some new footage here, which I didn't get in time to, for that first video. And this one shows a couple of different camera angles with uh, some telemetry data. Uh, so we've got uh, my, my throttle input, my brake input, steering input, uh, the G-force, uh, the gear, the rev gauge, speed. And uh, top right of the screen is the track map. But you can ignore that because that is Snetterton and that is not the track we are racing around here so you can forget about the track map but over the course of this video i just wanted to talk about what this car felt like to drive and what the experience was like inside the car i didn't really go into that in my first video so i felt like let's make this other video and just talk about that and also just how does it compare to uh, simulators how does it compare to games uh, driving a real car so just for reference uh, these are my first laps these are my very first laps ever so we're coming around the final corner now so I do apologize for the glare it's quite tricky to see out the window because of the contrast with the inside of the car but uh, we're just going up the main straight now in towards the first corner it is a crossover circuit it's quite a tricky circuit actually to get right but this is my very first lap in the GT4 car um, and alongside me I have Charlie Hollings who is a professional racing driver, professional uh, racing instructor and it was really good to have someone of his calibre alongside me because he, he's very experienced, he does a lot of racing, a lot of GT racing, a lot of LMP racing so he's very experienced, he knew what he was talking about and to have someone guiding you through your first laps was very very useful so he's telling me you know, where to brake, which gears to use um, one of the things I wasn't really used to was releasing the brake early because you can really trust the grip of the car because this was the first time I've ever driven a car with uh, slick tyres because of course road cars you know, have to have slick tyres you have to have grooves in them um, so the amount of grip was really quite phenomenal never qu not quite like anything I've ever experienced before but in terms of okay how did the car feel how, how did it feel so I'm going to break this down into the acceleration so the straight line speed of the car the power um, the cornering and the braking so in terms of the acceleration I would say obviously it was very quick you know it's a race car obviously it's a fast car but I wouldn't say I was completely overwhelmed by it it wasn't so quick that it was you know hard to see or anything it wasn't quite like an F1 car obviously um, I would say that I've you know I've been a passenger in a, a 911 GT3 RS I'd honestly say that felt quicker in a straight line and uh, that might be skewed by the fact that I was a passenger in the 911, but still. Um, this car was very quick in a straight line, but not so much so that it was difficult to drive. Um, so the straight line speed was very manageable. That wasn't too much of a problem. And the fact that you're on a race track with, with basically nothing to crash into made things a little bit different. I think if you were going, let's say we're going 180 kilometers an hour into this corner, if you're doing that on the road, that would feel, feel very different, of course doing it on a wide open runway feels a little bit safer um, then we've got the cornering the cornering as we said got slick tyres so the cornering was really good this is like quite like nothing I've ever experienced before the fact that you can go around we're going into the follow through here of basically my second third lap 150 kilometers an hour near enough and I trusted the car the car really gave you a lot of confidence just the way that it was set up with the slick tyres obviously it's very low down low centre of gravity so the car felt really good I've, I had a lot of confidence driving it and this is only what four minutes in to me driving a GT car for the first time and I felt like I, I could push the car quite quite a lot quite early and uh, that is testament to how the car was set up in the way that it has the slick tyres and um, the thing that really did um, catch me out in terms of how good they are was the brakes the brakes were absolutely unreal how late you can brake in this thing is quite phenomenal and I felt like I was braking like on the limit but then after the session I was looking at the instructors and seeing where they were braking and they were braking way later than me 
So for example, you're coming up to the hammerhead now, go over to the right hand side and there's these long white lines. And I was breaking pretty much halfway down these uh, white lines. You see them on the left hand side and then you've got one going across the track. And the instructors were breaking way after the one that goes across. Uh, so I was like a good 50 metres before, they were a good 50 metres after. So the amount of um, braking potential in this guy is, is, is crazy. I felt like I was braking too late and pushing it to the limit, but after watching those guys do it, obviously this car can even brake even better than what I thought it could. So that is, for me, the one thing that stood out as being absolutely excellent, the braking power. That was absolutely amazing. Um, the brakes and then the cornering was very good as well. And then the straight line speed, more than acceptable. Really, really quick actually, especially in coming out of that corner there, like second gear, third gear, you can really feel it. Um, but you're really cozy in the car. Uh, you're strapped in very tight. There's not much room to move. You can see on the bottom right picture there. My head is pretty much scraping the scaffolding at the top of the car. And obviously the seat sort of wraps around your head. So there really isn't much room to move. The seat belt is done really tight and not too tight, but you, you really are part of the machine. You really feel everything. It felt amazing just being in that car. You can really feel everything. It feels comfortable and the car just responds to everything you do. You turn in, it just it just goes just goes in through the hammerhead here. You see there's still wet patches on the track that doesn't really affect it too much. There's a big bump here. Sometimes it was losing control, but the car just really felt good through there. In terms of visibility, visibility was fine. You get used to it. Um, but luckily for me, obviously I wasn't racing anyone. So I think it would be a lot trickier. I can imagine it being very difficult to race in terms of looking in your mirrors all the time, looking in the rear view mirror, side mirrors. I can imagine the visibility going backwards, looking or looking backwards, sorry, wouldn't be all that great. Uh, but luckily for me, I didn't really have to worry about that all that much. Um, so a comparison to how it felt in terms of, or, or compared to a simulator, um, I think the one I want to compare it to is Gran Turismo. Um, okay, debate whether or not it's a simulator, but that's not really the point. Um, so in Gran Turismo, for example, you're, um, in terms of getting good speed, you need to uh, be firm, but not too stampy on the brake pedal, and then release it gently, and then turn in nice and gently, and release the steering gently, and then on the power, you don't want to slam it down, you want to be progressive on it, maybe 50% halfway through the corner, then gently up to 100% on the way out of the turn. And this is something I, I would honestly say I've carried over from playing Gran Turismo, just being progressive on the power. Um, if you look, if you look at the, the the video that I made about the full experience, the instructors did say that I was being very smooth with the car, being very very gentle with it, being very smooth, and that was what they wanted. That's what they liked to see. And I would say that honestly, that came through from Gran Turismo, just being gentle on that game. It's something that I've tried to work on in Gran Turismo because I've not always been a smooth driver. But if you want to be quick in Gran Turismo, you do need to be smooth. You need to make sure you, you don't wear out your tyres and you, you are gentle with everything. And that kind of style really did carry over into the way that this car was ideally being driven. And that's exactly what the instructor said. He said to be smooth. And um, after the first session, Charlie said, yeah, that was great. And going into the second session, they said, basically don't change how you drove that car because you drove it the way it needs to be driven. Obviously I wasn't on bang on the pace. Um, in hindsight, um, in retrospect, I've, I've looked at the McLaren Shadow times and there's two competitors who are quicker. So out of the six of us who went out on track, I was the third quickest. I was about half a second slower than the other two guys. Who did a, one, one did a 14.9 I think, I did a 15.4, so I wasn't too far off. Um, so I was really happy with how it went and it was just an absolutely amazing experience. So I just felt like bringing you this short, quick video just to give you a quick insight of what it felt like and uh, what the car felt like and how it compared to my experience in, uh, in games and simulators. So that was just my first stint. Unfortunately I don't have footage of the second stint. I would have liked to see this kind of footage for that second one, unfortunately I don't have it. Um, that would have been good to bring to you as well but um, alas we don't have it on this occasion but yeah but yeah that's just really my quick thoughts if you do have any questions about this day about this car what it felt like how it felt like to be at the top gear test track which was obviously a legendary circuit a lot of people know this track from around the world 
um, then please do just ask ask away in the comments down below. My last note really is just that this was an absolutely incredible experience just to get behind the wheel of a race car. Not only any race car doing it in a McLaren, but also at the Top Gear Test Track, which again is a legendary place which I've seen on TV for so many years, played it on many different games, and then to finally drive it for real is uh, definitely one to remember. And it was absolutely an amazing experience. Again, just want to say thank you to everyone for, for the support on the channel. Recently hit 300,000 subscribers, which is a really a crazy total. Growth in the last sort of year and a half, or two years even, has been really, really quite amazing. And uh, yeah, just thank you for being part of that. I do hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for the support on the channel. If you did enjoy, do drop a like and maybe subscribe if you're new to the channel. But that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. I shall see you very soon. Goodbye.